Growing up in inner city Birmingham, I was raised in modest surroundings by my devout Sikh parents and taught to work hard, respect the law and help others in need. That simple ethos kept me out of trouble and motivated me to serve my community and country in the British Army. But the drive to become our party's police and crime commissioner here in the West Midlands is not just one of duty or indeed aspiration, but of necessity. The budget for policing here is significant, £655 million, including a £50 million increase last year and a £36 million increase in this year's funding settlement. But Labour, who have had this role now for the past nine years it has existed, play politics rather than prioritising the resources to tackle the issues most affecting us. In that time, violence crime here has increased 170% over the past five years. Weapons possession is up 144%. Meanwhile, drugs-related issues are all too prevalent. Theft, car crime and antisocial behaviour is up and hate crime growing in our proud, diverse region. We are now paying more in our local police precept for policing yet. Residents in places including Aldridge, Tipton, Wensfield, Solihull and Sutton Coalfield are seeing the closure of their police stations. Taxpayers see through Labour's broken promises and politicking. They want their elected officials to take responsibility and deliver what they promised. That's why voters here in Tipton, a once Labour stronghold, turned to the Conservatives in the last general election, and it proved that their vote can actually deliver change. I will build on that by working with our Mayor Andy Street and our local MPs to improve these neighbourhoods with a dynamic agenda to tackle criminality. It begins by ensuring our communities have a strong local police presence. I will stop police station closures and deliver 50 more neighbourhood police officers in each of our boroughs. I will recruit more special constables to provide a link to our diverse communities. This way the police will better engage and communicate with the residents they serve. This on top of the investment into law and order by this government. We have hundreds more police officers from the National Uplift Programme and I will work with the Home Secretary to increase this. There are no excuses for why these resources cannot go into tackling rising crime across the whole of our region, including here in Coventry. What's been missing is action, a robust approach that cuts to the core of the problem and does not shirk from doing what's rightfully needed to stop criminals. People trust us, the party of law and order, because Conservatives deliver. So this is our chance to make a difference in the West Midlands with more police, less politics, to get crime down and make our streets safer.